Hello YouTube world, this is Alex the Gaming Teacher, and welcome back to the walkthrough of Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets. As you're watching this video, please give it a like and subscribe to my channel if you have not already. So on the last episode, we are just basically roaming the castle and on the grounds finding, um, you know, missing chests. Or not missing, just, you know, chests to get more cards, increase our health, and... Towards the end, as well, this episode is going to be solely based on finding lost items. So there's actually two sets of items. Um, uh, one of them, of course, with the bulletin board. I think there's only like a couple more left there. And then there's also one with the explore the grounds. Okay, so here's the second one, though, but... Um, the last, it was like Neville Brilliant. asking for a membrane. Now this one can be more irritating because, um, let's see, because you have to like go all over the place and you also have to find the person, like where's the next person that's asking for such and such item. Someone over by the flying courtyard could do with your help, too. Okay, so the flying courtyard. So we'll go see what that's about. Okay, so here's the next person. Hello there, Harry. I've lost my potion jar and Professor Snape will kill me if I don't find it. Can you help me? Okay, well... I don't know where the heck that would be. Okay, well, we're just gonna, like I said, I was just gonna, you know, finish up with the, uh, bulletin board items. So I think the last one was a hat, which we found already, so we'll go back to the Gryffindor room. Okay. Yeah, so once again, it's just, um, I think I said in the last episode, it's like three loading screens going one way, three loading screens going the other. But, you know, it's going to be worth it in the end, getting all these house points. Now for the other one, you know, the, yes, you have to go all over the place looking for the person, but at the good thing though is it's in the outdoors. So it's not like you have to go into the castle. There's no loading screens in between. But yeah. It's... 
episode, I'll be you just have to be a little patient. Just wondering, it's like he's only in year two, so he doesn't know the magic spell on uh, teleportation. Otherwise, that'd be pretty nice. Whoa, what the? I really appreciate you finding the wizard hat, Harry. Thanks, and here's a wizard card. A uh, wizard card from a wizard hat. Alright, what is next now? One pair of dragon high gloves. Location near the lake. Okay. Maybe that's the one that's like literally right next to the lake. It's kind of getting it mixed up with other something else. So let's see, what can I talk about? Take a quick look here. So, Fortune Vial. What? Oh. It's like two other items that we can get. So, yeah, like, just gonna re explain again the purpose as uh, wizard cards. We're trying to get as many as we can. You already know, 10 cards is what it takes to increase your health. And believe it or not, this this game is actually not even that long. I was kind of a little shocked by that. I, maybe I just feel like it was longer the first time playing because I had no idea what to do. But yeah, it's, it turns out that we only have like two more night missions. Uh, so we have this Quidditch match. Then we're going to have the level with Aragog. So that's why you're seeing all these spiders everywhere they're heading towards the forest follow the spiders um, but then there's that and then you know afterwards it'll be the last quiz match and then basically the final level so not really all that long You could probably say that the overall toughest levels are right, you know, about to happen at nighttime because you know that you have to deal with all the spiders. You got to make sure you dodge their attack, and um, also sneaking out. So you have to sneak out in the night. You know, just like in the movie, we're gonna have to go all the way to Hagrid's uh, hide area. Uh, okay, so the dragon gloves are not here. Let's see. Set by the lake. Maybe <clears throat> I am thinking they're probably. Well, my <clears throat> my voice here is getting a little dry, but um. Oh, a second. Is there anything over here? Wait a second. Oh, I must have missed an area here then. Well, how about that? See, I always thought there was like other areas. Um, this is what I was doing in the last episode, getting chests just by lighting these torches, so. All right, well. <laughs> Good to see that. Let's resume with the dragon gloves. Oh goodness.
They might be like all the way down towards this lake area. Now I know we already did this one though, so we shouldn't have to uh Yeah. Alright, well then let me Oh, okay, that's what it is then. It's heading near the lake, but it doesn't necessarily mean it's on ground level. So we actually gotta uh Well <sighs> things for sure it does not fly that fast. No, this is not the... It's supposed to be like a confiscated items room. Although... Yeah, no, we were already in this area. Okay, we need to go to the flying field first, the practice field. So this is like the area where we like end up going to get our 200 beans. Uh, okay, it's going to be somewhere around here then. Wait, hold on a second. There's like a little green area here. It's definitely around here, so I'm going to have to bear with me. Oh. It's not on a green area then, okay. Oh boy. Getting bumped here, not even taking damage. Brilliant. Like, how do you take damage? Well, I mean, I guess drops are pretty lethal too. Okay, I think there was also the next person that we're supposed to confront. Yeah, he's over here. Hello there, Harry. I've lost my potion jar and Professor Snape will kill me if I don't find it. Can you help me? You know, maybe I won't. I'll just let Snape kill you. Nah, <laughs> kidding. See, I don't even know who you are. Well, I guess he probably does. Then again, everyone will know who Harry Potter is, so it doesn't mean Harry will know everybody else on the flip side. Gosh, so these people are all just running like... <sighs> I thought they would, like... I don't know, I guess that's only during... Or maybe it's just Madame Hooch that does it. You fly near her, that she'll, like, cover her, uh... Cover herself. Okay, so I'm looking at the potion jar. It's supposed to be like somewhere around here. Oh, well, maybe it's. I'm not seeing anything shining here. Okay, well, yeah, I'm just kind of roaming around. It's probably hidden around the trees. I feel like it should be here, though. Huh. What the? Okay, this is a little 
odd. Should be around here. Oh, wait a second. Oh, no. That's probably what it was. I was supposed to, uh... So, this is one thing that pff, you gotta remember to do. So, every time they're asking for something, you have to press accept. I don't think I did that. Okay, that just, like, really irritates me. So, um... Yeah, let's just go. We're gonna go back in the... Well, I don't know. It's like over here. No. no we're gonna go here first then. Ow. Come on. Yeah, okay, so gotta remember that every person that lost an item, press accept. Otherwise the item will not show up. It's like infinite amount of spiders you see there. irritating just checking notifications here on the side So, there's uh, Hermione's. <laughs> I was thinking that portrait. Kind of looking like Hermione there. Maybe it's one of her ancestors. Thanks, Harry, for getting the dragon hide gloves. Have a wizard card. All right, 53, hmm. Okay, the next one, gadding with gals. Could be anywhere in the grounds. Okay. It's uh, pretty vague, anywhere on the grounds, but we will see about that. All right, let's... Harry's gonna burn the castle down. So looks like we have to go back to that same area the the last item was. That was our bridge. Yeah, but supposedly that bridge is what leads us to the 200 beans thing, so... Let's see if I want to do that there, because I'm getting a little for less this here of the going back and forth. Looks like there's two more items, though, so after we find this 
gadding with gals goals whatever it's pronounced uh, there's two more items and then you know we'll be done with that so we'll just stay in the outdoors for a bit more than check here too what is this 279 290s. That was before the challenge, I believe. I don't understand, though. How did it... The last... The day before, it said Slithered was in the lead, so... Oh, wait, though. That was actually... That was before the... Episode where we turned into... Um, the Goyle, whichever one he turned into... You like forcefully made slither and lose points. It's kind of messed up, but you know, it's whatever. All right, so let's see. First, we're gonna go towards the. We're gonna talk to this guy first, as we go our way, make our way here. Jar and Professor Snape will kill me if I don't find it. Can you help me? If you find the potion jar, can you bring it back here to me? Yeah, I thought I would just keep the potion jar to myself. But, yeah, whatever. I'll do whatever it takes to get those 200 beans. The reason why I want to get the 200 beans is that I can buy, you know, I really don't need to. Well, hold on a second. Have we done this one already? I'm just going to check. While I'm here, what the? Yeah, we already did. Okay, so that should be it for the torches. But, you know, the 200 beans, I really don't need to. Hold on a second, that doesn't seem right. This is the bridge area. Okay, here they are. Uh. Uh, I was gonna buy the potion vial, so Fred and George has the potion vial Brilliant. that costs 100 beans, and I really could just scramble around, like you know, for instance here, just collect 100 beans. But that could probably take just as long as what I'm doing right now here. And plus, I think there are also wizard cards at the end, so this is actually a nice reward. So we will, since I'm a little hungry for that. That's what we're going to just finish up right here then. So it's, it gets a little irritating after a while. Having to go all the way back up to the seventh floor. It's like Harry can't just find all the items at once. Okay, so the potion jar should be there now. Because we accepted it. Of course here it's like you got to go all the way back to where that person is. But it's not as bad because there's no loading screen. Yeah, see, it's right there. That's. It's kind of wondering why it wasn't there. Still not that easy, but you know, because of that sparkle or that glowy stuff, it's pretty easy to notice. Aside from the grass, and the plants, plants that look like they're made of made by paper. Man, if only you could do a speed boost on the. You can only do the speed boost during Quidditch matches. You found my potion jar! Thanks a lot, Harry. I think that someone over by the Quidditch gatehouse would like to give you a race. Okay, so. <coughs> By the Quidditch Stadium, we have to race somebody. <clears throat> I think it's like a foot race, though. Wait, what? That's one thing that's like doesn't really make much sense. It's like you can't 
can't fly broomstick close to any. Yeah, we'll just go on foot here. Let's see where it's Ron at. It's far away. Yeah, that's not Ron, but I'm gonna get you anyways. Okay, what? This guy's gonna race me? What the heck? That's so weird. Hey there, Harry. Fancy racing me to the trees and back? Okay. Ready? Three, two, one, go! Okay, I'm not sure. What the heck? Is he really racing? Um, okay then. Oh shoot, I think I did this wrong. Oh, brother. So I was supposed to, um... Probably go around all these trees. Well, this is a shame. Ah. You didn't win that time, Harry. Okay, whatever. Well, I'll beat you for sure this time. I never could have used my broomstick, but like to race again, eh, Harry? Get ready then. Three, two, one, go. It's like you can almost give him a head start. No, he's just walking. Well, um, I don't want to take any chances. If I went on my broomstick, maybe he'll just say, "Hey, that's cheating." Okay. So if we go around all the trees, that should be. Let's see, where is he at? What? Oh, there he is. Well done, Harry. You won the race. I think someone might be needing your help over in the cloisters. The cloisters. Okay, well, anyways. It's got a little vague cloisters. It's not like a Pokemon there. Probably like the what do they call it? Maybe that square area. This area here. At least that's what I thought. Alright, well let's see here then. Oh, this is actually... Wait, what? Oh, this is not where I was expecting to be. Oh, no, yeah. Here it is. Okay. Hello, Potter. I've lost my copy of the Daily Prophet, and I was really looking forward to reading an article about the Quidditch World Cup. Can you help find it for me? Nah, it's probably long gone now. If you find 
my copy of the Daily Prophet. Can you bring it back here to me? Now, how would you know if it's your copy? Like if you wrote your name on it. Alright. Whoa, we went right over the building there. The next one here is gonna be once again in this area. It's like we always have to go back and forth to this area, it seems. It's near where the actually probably on this side actually. Well, maybe it was on the opposite side. Ugh. All right, well. Shouldn't be that many more items left for this part here. Okay, well maybe, maybe it's not in this area at all. Wait a second. Um, okay, here it is. Brilliant. Man, though, can I at least teleport back to whoever it was that asked for it? I have to go back to the cloisters now. Curious as to what that lion faced thing is. Wait, where is that person at? What the? Yeah, it's right there. You found my copy of the Daily Prophet. Thanks, Harry. I think Neville could do with your help too. I saw him over by the flying lessons area. Okay, Neville again. It's like Neville is just losing everything. Uh, okay. Well, here it is. I think it's over here. Wait, what? Where is Neville at? Neville Longbottom. There he is. Oh, hello, Harry. I was practicing my Wingardium Leviosa spell on some pieces of crockery. But now I can't get them down from the roof. Can you help get them back for me? If you manage to get all the pieces of crockery, can you bring them back here to me, please? Ah, <sighs> well, since you said please, it's all for the good. Harry helping out everyone, because everyone else in this game is super lazy. Super lazy AF, I would say. Alright, here's the crockery. Oh, you can't pick it up while on the broomstick, it seems. Okay, this is a lot of pieces actually. We've got to make sure we get every single one. I think that was it. Alrighty. Should definitely be towards the end. What? <laughs> You're really doing that? It's like, huh, let me look out in the distance. Like a. Not a sailor, but like a sightseer. All my crockery. Thanks very much, Harry. I think that someone over by Hogwarts main entrance could do with your help too. Okay, I think we should have only one more of this now, so we are just basically that close 
to getting the grand reward. No, it's actually not even that far at all, too. Here's the entrance. This must be the last person. Hello there, Potter. I'm really desperate to collect three mandate roots for Professor Sprout. Can you help me out? Okay, so that supposedly... You would assume it's got to be near the greenhouse area. So once again, we gotta go back to the greenhouse area. Oh, and just don't want to forget that <laughs> when we, you know, when we go on the nighttime when we sneak outside, we have to go to Hagrid's hut area. Each though, it's like <sighs> sneaking out in the night. Not fun at all. Okay, now I feel like it's probably on the other side. Oh goodness. Let's check on the other side then. No. Oh my goodness. I, you know, probably... Oh, is it? I think, once again, I just didn't accept it. That is why. Yeah. So glad. This, I know for sure this is the last one. And, you know, at least, you know, with the notice board, you don't have to worry about doing that. But my goodness. It's like, of course Harry's going to accept the job. So I have to hear him talk again. Hello there, Potter. I'm really desperate to collect three mandate roots for Professor Sprout. Can you help me out? Oh, shoot. <laughs> if you manage to collect three mandate roots, can you bring them back here to me? Yeah, 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 yeah. I was going to... Well, look at that. Huh. Looks like the ground was shaking. Okay, I feel like it was in this area, though. You know, on this side. It's definitely by the treehouse. I mean, not the tr the greenhouse. Maybe... Yeah, okay. There's one. Yeah, that looks like uh, three roots right there, but now we have to pick up three of these here. And then the third one... That I can't even see. All these trees made of paper. Alright. Okay, that is it, and that should be... Wait, what? There's four? Huh. Interesting. What happens if you give them all of these? Well then. You only asked for three. That should be good enough. Here's the key to the confiscated item storeroom. You'll find it just off the flying court on the heck? other side of the bridge. It does not sound like the same voice of the guy who was asking for the magic roots. Okay, but mission fulfilled. Now we're going to claim our reward. So the confiscated items room once again. Let's see here if we go towards... Yeah. Hmm. 
Mr. Potter. This should be over here, so... Confiscated room. Here's the moment. After all that mess. Look at that. Look at all these chests. Alright, so wizard cards, yeah. So there's gonna be wizard cards as well. 54. Alright, we should be able to then maybe get more health after all of this is said and done. So that should be 55. Because I think there's like three more items from the bulletin one. Let's see if we can get the last one to be the extra beans. Let's go over here. Oh, jeez, there's one here too. My goodness. Why would wizard cards be a confiscated item though? It's like... What harm would they do? Okay, 58. Ooh, we're definitely not going to get 60 right now, though, but, you know, we'll get it really shortly. Yep, I thought so. It's going to be the one in the middle. So, last chest. The ultimate one. And wizard card? No. A giant beanbag. Now I can carry even more beans. Wait, what? There's like an even extra bean there. No. I could grab that bean just to eat it, I guess. Alrighty though, there we have it. Two hundred beans. Now let's just gonna finish up the other mission. The more irritating one. But we only have two more items that we already found. I don't know what the last item we got was. We have two more items left afterwards, so... That will take us to the end of this episode. But yeah, so after this is said and done, before we sneak out, we're going to get our third potion file. And that basically gives you, what, like four lives. One thing I noticed when I played the game for the first time, uh, when you take on Aragog, um, and when you die, for some reason I thought that you probably have unlimited lives, because once I died, the battle just resumed. But what if probably was, is that if you have a potion vial, and say like you don't heal yourself, you know, if you don't drink from it, I think it just automatically gives you that extra life. Because I think that's actually what happened to me in this game, like, I had a potion vial, didn't use it, but I lost all my health, but then somehow just resumed battle. And that's because the potion vial, you know, instantly healed me, gave me the extra life. So allowed to continue. So having said that, pretty important in, to wanting to have more potion vials. Yeah, it just only took me like two lives then to defeat Aragog and you know the times afterwards when I played the game I don't think I even needed to have the potion vial. But it never never hurts, of course, to have that insurance. Insurance policy. Okay, Waltle Bird. You have to spread your arms also when you say it. Alright, here should be more healthier as well. Thanks very much for getting the gadding with Ghoul's book, Harry. 
Have a wizard card. Yeah, we got extreme amount of health. Alright, so let's see what's next. Copy a fill out of owl package, so it could be anywhere. Holidays with hags, oof. So hags as in witches. Okay, well, I think that's probably going to be all our remaining health gain because we're going to have two more items, I believe, which would be two more uh, magic cards, you know, wizard cards. But I can't see where we're going to be finding eight more cards other than that. So, yeah, it doesn't, I don't really understand those because it's like when you're trading cards doesn't give you anything extra so I'm really curious well that's right we're actually gonna be buying some cards from Fred and George but they certainly do not have what 40 cards themselves um there's probably gonna be some chests as well when we go back in the forbidden forest though so um, yeah we'll see there might be a chance that we get at least 10 more, but I, I don't know how the heck there's gonna, there's like 41 other cards. Does not seem, doesn't seem right. That's probably something I'll look into then. Just thinking, where the heck do you get all these cards? This guy just stays here all the time. He's probably one of the guys that you know, is keeping watch <laughs> in the entrance hall. Maybe that's why they're watching there. Once, so make sure you're not gonna leave through the front doors. One, so yet you're not gonna change the house points. <laughs> Imagine that if someone just snuck out in the middle of the night just to change the number of, you know, house points. Whoa, okay, uh, let's see, I think it's actually not even that far. Hello? What the, okay, whatever. They all look similar. Should be over here, let's... Something like around the hugging the wall here. Okay, I see it. What if I try to land directly on top of it? Ah. Well, hold on. Brilliant. Land right on the book. Okay, so. Should be one more item now. And you know what? So we're going to go back to the castle. But then afterwards, when we find the last item, then we'll just go straight to the Quidditch match. Because, you know, it's... I should probably also um, get all my potions, you know, stocked up. Because then once the Quidditch match is over, then I'll probably just say, let's go right into the night. Um, and of course, I don't want to try to heal myself. You know, heal myself and fill up the vials during the nighttime. I mean, it's not all that bad because it's just there's going to be those fire bug, fire crab, whatever those things are. And you know how you destroy them. Just use Filipendo. And then use Incendio afterwards, after they're like flipped over, but you know why bother with that? Okay, do now recall which door did we just go through? I think we're going to the staircase now. Yeah.
Seems like he runs faster when he's going up the stairs compared to just flat ground. Hmm. <coughs> okay, so. Bird. All right, so probably only have to say that password one more time. I'm thinking we'll see. Thanks for finding holidays with Hags, Harry. Here's a wizard card. Thinking as long as we don't get caught anymore in the nighttime, it should be enough to win the house cup. Oh, I'll stop it. Okay, giant tarantula, probably wandering behind the herbology greenhouses, found please. Okay, so that's the last one for sure. I mean, no, I know it is. And they're even giving us that it's by the greenhouse. So the last one, not the most difficult to find. But you just gotta make sure it's just like with the Neville's toad that you have to cast a spell on the tarantula before you can grab it. Certainly who would want to grab a tarantula before stunning it? Maybe you wouldn't want to pick it up at all, but... Although, you know, if you own a tarantula, that's a different story. Thinking about, like, <laughs> Home Alone. A scene where... Actually, yeah, the main character, um, Kevin, it wasn't even his, it was his brother's tarantula. But he still picks it up anyways, just to put on the burglar. And then, you know how that all went. If none of you have ever seen Home Alone, then you're missing out. It's just definitely a classic. Oh, I always just found the second one though to be more funny. But I don't know. Ratings say otherwise. Uh, I don't really ever pay attention to ratings, you know, for the movies. The ones I usually go to are IMDB, but even then, I think they still said Home Alone was had a higher rating. Um you know, I could see in a way why, but it's probably just because Home Alone 2 is more silly. I always found it though with the added characters with the hotel employees. That's that kind of is like what put it over the top. But anyways, we're outside now, or after this screen here. So the tarantula again at the greenhouse. Yeah, I'm not trading any more cards. It's like. It's completely pointless, I would think. I, uh, unless I'm wrong, but I'm pretty sure when I traded those cards, it didn't give me anything extra. But yeah, it doesn't, it would make sense though, because if you trade a card, you're giving away a card, so. I'm just really curious as to how the heck you get all 101. Like, is it even possible? It's definitely not necessary, that's for sure. Alright, so we're gonna crawl into here. See, that's the reason why this thing is back here. And tarantula should be. There it is. Will I get hurt if I walk over it? Alright, anyways. What the? What the? Oh, you have to probably go right away. Alright, so there it is. 
Okay, so that's the last one, so I'm not sure what it'll stay on the notice board once we give the tarantula back. But, okay, I'm trying to go on the broomstick here. Oh, shoot, I forgot. Uh... Alright, you know what, then we'll just do it. I totally forgot to, uh... Heal myself. Although, mm, yeah, I want to do it here so in case I forget. I think I could have probably just gone to Quidditch. But what I'll do is I'll just, uh, I won't go to the, uh, I'm trying to think. Well, then again, it's only one more loading screen. Ugh. Yeah, it's going to be a little bit of wasted extra time here. I'll probably just end the episode then inside the castle. So we'll go fetch, you know, we'll get our last reward. I definitely knew this was going to take a while though, It's that's for certain. Because if you think about it, this was, uh, I had the last episode. That was the sixth one, and when I started getting all those chests, so that means that overall, these two episodes was almost half of like what I went through before. And since there's like only two more days on this game, it's probably going to be approximately two hours or less. probably even less because Aragog's level is probably a hefty one but the last one you don't really all you have to do is go to the girl's bathroom you know it's real easy to just get by that one guy to come to the staircase here so you just gotta go to the second floor go to the bathroom, girl's bathroom and then that's it then you already know from the movie that's the entrance to the chamber secrets she goes right there and then encounters Tom Riddle and anyways actually let me think here well no that's right doesn't really make a difference if we uh, crawl through the bookcase Although, yeah, maybe, whatever, we'll just do it. I wonder if it takes me to the same floor that the potion vials are on. I do not recall. Hold on a second, did we, uh... Yeah, we went here already, that's right. Just so much, so much stuff. Have a wizard card for your travels. I think that is that does not look like Lee Jordan. At least the one from the movie. Alright, so that should be it. Yep, so that's why we can't examine anymore. Alrighty. So last thing is gonna go heal myself. Oh you know what? I just realized that maybe I should, hmm, you know, maybe I will take the chances and just do it during the night time because we don't have our third vial yet. Um, so, you know, yeah, we'll just, <sighs> I have no idea what I'm doing right now. We'll end the episode here then. Uh, so the next episode, we'll just get on with the Quidditch match and resume the story. So, thank you guys all for watching. Uh, once again, this is not really an interesting video. It was just showing you guys where to find all those missing items. But hopefully it was helpful. Um, so that you guys don't have to, like, scramble all over. Uh, you know I had to do it a little bit. But anyways, you know, once again, if you enjoyed it, just please give it a like. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Uh, if you have any comments or questions, you don't know what to do, just leave them down in the comment section. But other than that, I'll see you guys all next time.